Okay, hello everybody, Sacred Studios here, and I got a biggity box here, and we're going to see what's inside. I'm pretty sure I know what's inside, but I don't know. It's a gift from Uncle Bezos, so I'm about to find out. Okay, I'm just going to... Okay, yep, I know what this is. It is a Gengar model kit from, I believe, Bandai... Uh, let's see. Yeah, Bandai right here. So, yeah, this is a model kit from Bandai. Uh, I believe it's the same model kit that I get my Pikachu from, from my stop motion series. Uh, I'll be right back. Let me go get my Pikachu. So it's the same model kit in which this Pikachu comes from, as well as this Eevee, because the box is very similar, and yeah. So, without further ado, let's see. I didn't see any videos on this online yet, so this is a very new figure, made in 2020, uh, or at least relatively new, and... Alright, it's got some plastic wrapping gunky gunky gunk on it. But let's alright, let's see if we can just Oh, that's very strong plastic actually. I gotta slide it. Alright. Give it to this. Yeet. And let's see. Okay, there is quite a few pieces on this one. Uh although most of it's probably just the support plastic. Um, you got two facial expressions, really cool. You got these two facial expressions. And you got some instructions. Um, okay, this is good. I remember I did a, a model kit and all the instructions were in Japanese. Uh, this one seems to be in English. Um, so, it's going to be really easy to follow. Even though I, I remember the model kits for Pokemon are pretty easy to follow anyways. But, alright, uh, so I'm going to speed up the footage and I'm going to put this thing together. Okay, uh, just quick note here. Uh, one small issue I'm seeing here is that it has here put the stickers you like for the eyes, but once you put the stickers on, you can't, like, you can't change it. So, unfortunately, if you want to change the eyes, you just have to buy an entirely new model kit, which is, you know, unless you want a Gengar army, is not really that practical. But I'm just going to stick with the basic forward facing eyes. Because I think that works. At least they move. Okay, so here's Gengar. Gengar is one of my favorite Pokemon. 
Um, and uh, yeah, it wasn't really that hard to build. I don't know. If you're slow like me, it might take you an hour. But it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Um, but yeah, just as a comparison, here's uh, another Gengar, the one that I used in my series before. Uh, they're about the same height. This guy, or oops, girl maybe, is superior just because, you know, it, it has a lot more articulation. This guy, really, it's it's more of a toy than in, like, a poseable action figure. Like, it can't move its legs at all. Uh, oddly enough, it can move his arms closer. This guy, his arms are always going to be sticking out, but that's alright. Yeah, you can move it this way, that way. You can move his, you know, his little feet there. And, yeah, um, I'm going to take him apart again so you guys can see what he looks like with, like, the mouth open when he's going like, ah. So, alright, wish me luck. Hopefully he doesn't explode. Uh, oh, blurry again. Yeah, there you go. So... Oh, okay. Thought I was gonna have to speed up the video, but no, that that was it. Okay, uh, that's it. And you can, bah! And you can put like a little tongue in there, or if you want, you can slide it out and then put the big tongue in there. I don't know why you would ever want the little tongue, but it was a cool little detail they added. Okay, little tongue's kind of stuck in there. It's a lot harder, I'm realizing, to get out the little tongue because it's just so small, but here's what you expect whenever you see Gengar. You see him with like a big tongue going like, bah! But yeah, just as a comparison, I mean, this one obviously <laughs> kind of looks more like how Gengar does it in the games, but just as a comparison uh, with them with the little tongue out, uh, so, I guess, my final rating, I got this guy on Amazon, he was like 15 bucks. Honestly, a really good price for what you get. The only bad thing I gotta say is with these stickers. Uh, if, uh, if I show them here, you see, you, if you put one of them on, you can't, you know, you can't replace them. So, if I ever want him looking to the side, I just won't have him be able to look straight ever again, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, all in all. Uh, I can't complain. Also, this is a figure you got to build, of course, but it's a figure with stickers. You don't need like any special tools to build them, but you do need to be good with stickers, which I'm not good with. Kind of messed up with this eye here. Um, it's not that bad, but it's something not uh, it's a notable thing, uh, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so yeah, here's Gengar. Uh, also, I plan on streaming episode 6 of progress I'm making on it tomorrow, so please keep uh, track with that. And yeah, uh, this Gengar, never going to use my series again, probably. He was more like a placeholder until they made a better Gengar. Lo and behold, they made a better Gengar. Uh, here's him compared to other figures from the same line. This Pikachu, which I use. This Eevee, which I use. Yeah, just, honestly, this is a really solid figure. Um... He can, you know, move his, oh, if the camera would focus, uh, he can move his, <laughs> uh, you know, legs, which is already just a plus from this other guy, um, but, yeah, he's more like an action figure, but you do have to put him together. Also, his plastic is really, I mean, their plastic seems to be made out of the same plastic. I'd say even that this one's even a little cheaper plastic than this guy, um, but, that's really something you can't really notice that much on camera anyways. Um, I guess it's just a lot more shiny. Um, also, instructions were a lot easier with this guy than these two. Um, but yeah, I, I do wish that this guy wasn't as glossy. It might just be his color, but I mean, these guys come in the same line. And yeah, I mean, they're sort of glossy, but not like not like this. You know, it's even showing up with my potato camera. But, alright, uh, sacred out, and yeah.